Welcome back to the 30 day Jiu Jitsu mobility challenge. Let's not waste any time and get straight into it. Today, we're starting off with a deep lunge and then we're gonna work in some elbow and some upper body mobility. So start with your right foot forward, both hands on the mat and your right foot just outside of your right hand. Your left leg should be all the way back on your knee with your toes curled up underneath up on your toes there as well. Okay, so as we always do when we start in a, a deep hip opening position, we're just gonna move and groove into this position and feel out how we are today. Feel, feel how our hips are feeling today. We're uh, definitely a few days into the challenge now, so if you've been keeping up every day, hopefully we start to feel that your uh, your hip mobility is improving. And these positions should feel, not that they're necessarily getting easier as such, but you should feel like your your body has unlocked more, more range of motion and more, more uh, movement availability to you. Let me know in the comments if you've felt like uh, you've had a direct response to the mobility in your jiu-jitsu so far. I'd love to hear all the feedback, always, feedback's always welcome. But for now, let's just groove in and out of, of our uh, deep lunge position here. Now what I want we, us to do is come down, I want you to come down onto your elbows if you can, if you've got it, and keep driving that right knee out and move and groove in this position. You can get a hand up there if you want, but really, I want us down on our elbows. I'm just gonna come back a little bit. As you can see, if you just get a quick cheeky peek at the screen here, I'm really twisting into this uh, right hip here, really moving in at a bit of a twisting angle and almost looking over my shoulder. And in, in fact, we actually can look over our shoulder, placing our right hand just on our hip crease here or on our knee, look all the way over our right shoulder. Just a reminder as always to breathe deep into your nose, into the diaphragm as you uh, do any mobility practice. Okay, let's return to center line. All right. It's feeling pretty good here today. Now I want you to slowly start to work your foot to midline and get it all the way into the middle if you can. So it should be more or less in line with your belly button. I want your your right arm to be in front of your knee here. So your knee is just poking out, out uh, behind your elbow. Now, once your knee is in the center line, come up on the knife's edge of your foot. You're going to extend your knee out for a opener of your hip here. So up onto the knife's edge of your foot and push your knee down, sink into your hip and return. So that's three, we're gonna go for 10 here each side. It's four, stay on the back knee. If you want, you can come up on your toe and do the same thing here, but for now, I want, I want you just to stay down on your knee. I think that's seven, I might've lost count. <laughs> this is eight, nine. Keep your chest nice and proud when you do this. Keep your breath flowing. That's 10, okay, so work it back out. Come up onto your toe, push your right foot back to meet your left foot and bring your left foot all the way up into a deep lunge position. we do the same again on the left side. Remember what we did here, we just decided to move and groove into this position. Let's see how our left side's feeling. You should feel a little bit of a difference between each side. It's, uh, it's pretty common, not necessarily normal. Sometimes I use the term normal. We should be chasing normalcy as Kelly Starrett likes to put it, where both sides ideally are feeling the same, but that's not, uh, that's not realistic. Most of the time you're going to have one good side and one bad side, just like in Jiu Jitsu, everyone always has a uh, good side and then a white belt side as the colored belts say. I suppose white belts just have a, every side's a white belt side, I suppose. <laughs> just kidding. I love, I love you. I love you guys. All right, no hate for the white belts. Okay, so we're moving in in and grooving into our hip here. 
just testing it out. You can see my hand just snuck up onto my foot. You're more than welcome to do that. And let's go come down now onto our elbows. Now this left side, we're gonna move and groove, driving our knee out, trying to keep our foot or for contact onto the mat through your big toe, your little toe, and the two corners of your heel on the mat here. And as straight as you can get it, we're gonna move and groove into our, uh, our hip. As you can see, if you do a cheeky little look at the screen, really sinking into this hip, giving my body a bit of a twist. And as we did before, I'm gonna place my thumb up here, my hand up on my hip crease and look over my left shoulder now. I breathe deep into this position. You should feel really deep into your, your hip in the hip flexor, maybe even on your right hand side here. Down the right side as you as you really twist and look into this position. And return back to center line here. All right. Now let's come back up onto our hands and we're gonna walk our foot like we did last time to over to the other side, I should say, to the center line. And up on the blade's edge of our foot. We're going to drive our knee out and down and sink into that stretch. We're gonna do this for 10 reps. Again, you can come up on your foot if you would like, but I want us to stay on our knee for now if it's uh, if you feel comfortable doing so. This is four. I'm gonna go for 10. This is five. Feel free to lift your chest up as you do it. Six. Seven, reminder to breathe, it's eight, it's nine, last one, it's 10. Okay, so let's come back up into this kneeling position. So let yourself settle, get the blood flow back in. Now, I'm gonna introduce you to the trapped fist. This is going to release your elbows. So the way we do this, there's two different variations, both work. You make a fist, place it down on the mat in front of you with your opposite hand. You're going to C grip and clasp over your fist and trap it down, hence the name trap fist. You can have your fist uh, in this position or you can supinate your fist and trap it the other way. It's up to you, uh, I, I prefer my, my fist facing down here. but So let's start off with that. Again, other hand traps over the fist and we're going to straighten our elbow and drive our elbow pit forward. So drive it forward and twist into that position. Hold for one second and release. You don't have to come all the way down, just release the tension in your elbow. Let's go again. I'm gonna complete this for reps. It's really important to make sure that you're twisting that elbow pit forward. This really helps with uh, jacked up elbows from Jiu Jitsu. So this is five, six, seven, keep going, eight, we're going for 10 here, nine, one more, 10. Okay, we're gonna swap sides, create a fist, Place it down in front of you, opposite hand C grip over the wrist, grasp your fist and we'll go for the same. Driving your elbow, elbow pit forward for one. It's two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, and 10. Excellent, all right, shake it out, shake it out. We're gonna go again on the right-hand side, place it down in front of you, trap your fist, and we go for one. Two, reminder to breathe here. Three, four, Five, driving your elbow pits forward is really important here. That's six, 
seven. This is eight. Nine, last one on this side. 10, okay, swap over. And that's one. Two. Three, reminder to breathe. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. And shake it out. Excellent. So today's was a today's mobility practice was a very short little couplet between the long lunge, different variations there, and the trapped fist. Let me know how you went, and uh, stay tuned for the next installment of the 30-day Jiu-Jitsu Mobility Challenge.